so, gargantuan women were joined by someone you all know and love. Mr. Puniverse. In fact, more than one Mr. Puniverse. They had a race around the building that looked something like this. Exactly like this, as a matter of fact. For the first time, you're about to see butts and punies together at last. Our Puniverse contestants tied to our big butt contestants by a simple rope. But there is a catch. Our punies are on roller skates as our big butts pull them in a marathon it is our Butts Pull a Puny Marathon. Ready, set, go. Here they go, out into the daylight. Jay Abrams leading in points, but not a very good skater, already taking a full fall. Oh, boy. Jay having a very tough time there. Looks like uh, he may be skating on a puny butt. It's Nelson and Arvetta, Robert and Tamara, Jay and Denise, James and Georgia. As they make the turn around the building, there are some mighty powerful butts. It looks like, though, some of the punies got ahead of the big butts. Those women don't seem to be exerting themselves. Oh, well, there we go. Robert and Tamara look like they're out in the lead. While Georgia takes her time. Some good skaters out there. Where's Jay? What happened to Jay? She's just skipping that rope. Looks like Jay, our puny verse crown holder. Can't skate well enough to stay in the competition. Could be an upset. He is just trudging along. She ought to get behind him and just blow him around the studio. A good stiff wind could take him around the corner. Jay Abrams, last. Robert coming in here. Little upset. Magenta haired Robert. Tattooed Robert making it back into the studio, but he must cross that finish line to be first. Here she comes. The finish. Robert and Tamara. Nelson and Arvetta coming into the studio, making the turn. <laughs> There was no day at the beach for Mr. Puniverse. He fell a few times and came in and was totally winded and exhausted. But for some of our guests, the show is a day at the beach, especially for these women who were wives. Their husbands said they were too big to be seen on the beach and that they were embarrassed to even take them out in a swimsuit on a summer day. This is how they got a playful revenge on husbands who said they were too big for the beach. We have a song to sing to you. It may not be your favorite day at the beach, and it is a day, though, when you've brought the women that you love to the beach. But watch out, because a relationship storm's a brewing. So fun on the beach must cease. Oh, no, look out. Here comes a big wave to demolish your day of peace. Oh, it was a tidal wave. Every man lusts for Pam Anderson. Her bikini makes her quite a dish. But these guys are about to get eaten alive. Watch out. Here come jellyfish. Oh, it's jelly. Jellyfish. <laughs> now when a sexy lady walks down the beach, these men here thing, hear the ringing of bells, but the women are hearing the ocean surf. And you know what? If you hold up a seashell, you will hear the... No, those are pasta shells. No, 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 no. That's, that's shells and tomato sauce. Wrong kinds of shells. Oh, no. No, no, no. You say they're too fat for the beach? These women say no. Too fat for the beach, indeed. These men insist their women are big. So they'll all have to eat seaweed. Oh no, seaweed. Seaweed washing up on the beach. Oh no. Oh no, water pollution. 
Now get out of the sand, because the lifeguard's coming near his whistle, Blair. Get on the blanket. Get on those blankets, but don't burn in the sun. Put some suntan lotion and oil everywhere. But there's one last thing, ladies. Roll up the men in the blankets where they lay. That's where they deserve to stay. <laughs> I don't think those husbands are going to be complaining about their wives uh, too much longer after that. Uh, food, glorious food goes the song, and you can grow it, and you can eat it, and you can cook it. But even if you have a good imagination, you will not believe what we do with food. Some of our best food fights and more when we come back in just a moment. Stay with us. In your family, your wife is the boss. She's the one that controls the purse strings. She tells you what to do. She even tells you what to wear and where to go. If your wife is the boss and you're ready to rebel, give us a ring at 188-239-8463. It spells out 188-BAYTIME, but only call if your wife gives you permission. <laughs> 